Today's video is very special, very exciting. We're featuring a language that I think a lot of people may not know much about, uh, but we're, we're going to get to that and, and talk about it and uh, give you a little brief background on uh, the history a little bit and all of that. Uh, but before we get to doing the, the words and the sentences, let's just do a, a quick introduction and then we'll uh, jump into it. Hi, my name is Shivani Gurjit, and I'll be representing Sanskrit in this video. Uh, this is my second time on Bahadur's channel, and I'm very excited for this video. Hi, my name is Kamal Kelzim. I live in Sweden, and I'm a native speak, uh, Domari speaker. So uh, uh, for you who, doesn't, who don't know what is Domari, so Dom or Domijib, uh, as it's called in English, Domari is an Indo-Aryan language sp spoken by uh, Dom people in the Middle East. Uh, Dom people in the Middle East are called uh, uh, in different names. Uh, in, in the Levant, uh, we are called um, Nawar, or in northern Syria, uh, Urbat. In, um, in Turkey and northern Iraq, we are called uh, Karaj something like that. And uh, according to linguistic evidence, uh, Dom people migrated from India uh, 1,000 years ago. Um, but before that, uh, the Dom people and Romani people, they were one group in the central India. And uh, they separated when uh, Romani people started to uh, travel toward northwestern India. And uh, just a few centuries later, Dom people um, migrated to northwestern India as well. And after that, both Dom and Romani people met in the Middle East. And after that, uh, Romani people started uh, traveling to Europe, but Dom people stayed in the Middle East. So there's two main dialects in Domari, uh, the Southern Domari and Northern Domari. Uh, and uh, I will be representing uh, one dialect of the Northern Dumari, Dombari of Aleppo. Perfect. Thank you so much. So now we're going to start. We'll do the first uh, Sanskrit word. The first Sanskrit word is Paniya. Can you say one more time? Paniya. Paniya. Paniya? Yeah. Like Paniya. Is it water? Water. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Okay. So we pronounce it like Pani. Pani. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The first uh, Domari word is Oost. Um, you said Oost. Oost. Okay. Um, is it lips? Uh, yeah, correct. <laughs> because yeah, we same. have a similar word in Sanskrit, uh, it is pronounced as Oshta. Okay, Very similar. Oshta. Oshta. Yeah. Okay. So Oshta is, in Domari, is one lips. Oshta. Oh, okay. So, Got it. Yeah, you can say Oshta, but it's just one. Oh, okay. It is Kashta. 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 Is it we would? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Kashta. If, yeah, it sounds is it very the same similar. For you? Yeah, same. Exactly the same. Kashta. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. The second Domari word for you, Shivani, is vai. Uh, one more time, please. Vai. We are. So it's something around you everywhere. Okay. <laughs> we are. Um... No, it's with V, V sound. Why? Why? Okay, okay. just a uh, why. Mm -hmm. So um, I cannot find an exact uh, replica of this word, but the closest I can think of is Vayu, uh, which would mean air or wind. Yeah, it's air. air. Yeah, air. Okay. So okay. everything around you, like something like that. Yeah. Uh, 
okay okay right. so the next word for you is varsha 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 so as i know um um so this sh sound from sanskrit turns to uh s uh, sound in domari so okay can you say is that one more time uh varsha so varsha would be maybe varsha is it year year yes it is it is yeah. so verse yeah. we say verse verse okay yeah Got but versa versa is one year versa versa oh, okay manus uh manus manus yes okay um so i think you have to change the word again a little bit here yeah because this uh, as you said would turn to sh in my case now yeah right yes. yeah so if i take manus and then change the sh to sh it would be manusha which would mean human yeah it's correct okay yeah. okay got it actually um, in marathi we have like another indian language we have an exact same word which is manus which also means human i think that was very similar to the pronunciation you used yeah so the next word for you is chinna chinna one more time chinna i don't know <laughs> okay so maybe uh you can try to just cut the last part out and go for a chin or a sound like that chin is it like cut cut something yeah. chin yes oh, it is okay. it is it oh. is yeah. so uh, in sanskrit it can mean uh, to cut or to divide cut into pieces all of that yeah is the same in the money yeah. the same yeah can sorry can maybe you have um, to you have to maybe i think you have to pronounce it with longer vowel as um, hadur sal can okay maybe i think so okay so you uh, you would spell it like if in english you would spell it as k a n yes right mm. okay um is it uh, ear by any chance yeah like can ear yeah yeah oh okay so actually the sanskrit word is a bit longer as you mentioned it is karna but i think i had the link when you said i have to add a few like uh, some uh-huh. sound at the end so the next word for you is dura 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 yeah dura dura uh should i add something or should i cut off the last one just no i think maybe you can drop the um, force at the end so maybe it can be similar to dur dur which is like the hindi far. version of this word yeah far. exactly yep. yeah yeah dur. dur is it yeah. the same yeah the same for yeah i thought yeah. so because in sanskrit we do end these uh, all these words with a force but in hindi it would be dur the word for you is chiri um chiri or like so so we can flex between um the u sound the short u and u so we can say churi or chiri so oh okay option. i It's think option. churi sounds uh churi sounds similar to me i mean more familiar to me than churi mm. mm. if i have to take the churi part it could be a knife which yeah, is churi ka in sanskrit yeah it's correct so the next word for you is nakra 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 yeah maybe here you will have to change the ending a little bit uh your first hint can be that it is a body part and like body part okay can so... yeah yeah 
Nakra. So should I say, is it just Nak? Nak is like nose without yeah. ra, without ra. That's right. So, nak. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. It is nose. Yeah. Okay. So you would just say Nak, right? Nak. Yeah. Got it. The word for you is ag. Um, can you repeat this? Ag. Ag, right, like uh, double A G maybe. No, just the A and uh, G. Ag. Okay. Um, I don't think I have any like. I can I don't think I can think of an exact word in Sanskrit, but if I draw reference from other Indian languages, um, we do have a word ag, which uh, has its origin in Sanskrit. But the Sanskrit word for that is different. It is agni, which means fire. So I'm just mm. taking a guess. But is it fire? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fire. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, clever. Got it. <laughs> yeah. The next word for you is. Sarpa. Sarpa. Yeah. I think just like how we did Karna, uh, here again you might have to drop something from the end of the word and make it a little more. Is it like, um, so Sarpa, should I just remove the th, sir? Is it sir? Like hell? No, no. You will have to retain the per. But you can maybe uh, remove the R sound. So without R. Yeah. Sarpa. Sapa. Is it like... I can just think now about an animal. It's a... Um, um, snake. Sap. Yes, it is. Without That's R. Right. Yeah. Okay, Sub. so <laughs> okay, so very close. <laughs> very uh, close, yes. Okay. Ungal. Ungal. Yes. Mm, ungal. Here again, if I have to take a guess, um, is it a finger like ungali, or yeah, it's a finger. Yeah, you're correct. Is it? Yeah. But again, in Sanskrit, it would be Anguli. The correct pronunciation in Sanskrit would be Anguli. It is similar though. So, mm, so exactly like fire, you have to add like E, long E right. in the end. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, understand. That was really good. I was going to say very, very clever and smart on, on both your parts for just picking up where the transition is and where the shifts are like in, in the sounds uh, and, and the letters. So once you know that, then you're able to like, that's what I was saying, like some of them might be a little challenging, but you picked up on that really, really fast. So so that's why you were able to like manage. Now we're going to do the, uh, the sentences. The sentences are not long. They're pretty short. And, uh, but it's going to be a little bit more challenging than guessing the words. So Shivani, you can go ahead and read your sentence. So, um... The Sanskrit sentence for you is actually a very short sentence. Mm, it goes like, Aham Drakshaha Khadami. Aham Drakshaha Khadami. Can you say, can you say it again, like a little bit slowly, please? Okay, I'll, this time I'll uh, maybe separate the words. Uh, Aham Drakshaha Khadami. Draksha. Is it like Drak uh, grape? Yeah. Drak. Grapes. Yeah. Grapes. Okay. And can you say the sentence one more time, please? Uh, aham. The first word is aham. Middle word was Drakshaha. Ending is Khadami. Uh, I don't know. Kadami. You might guess something from the from Kha here. Focus on the Kha part. 
and uh, it could be useful to you. So as I know, so uh, the Sanskrit ka sometimes can uh, can be changed to ka in uh, Domari. So kada, I don't know. Maybe again, uh, try to correlate this word with grapes or any type of food item. So is it like I ate? Yeah, really? yeah. Uh, ate would be a past tense. Ah. Maybe a present tense for that. But it is right in the gist. Ah, it is um, I right. am eating grapes. Yeah, okay. it is that, yes. Okay. I am eating grapes, right? So the word, for, the sentence for you, Shivani, is Ashta Pasom Tronmani. Um, okay, uh, repeat again, please. Ashta Pasom Tronmani. Okay. So, um, okay, the the first word I could catch in this entire sentence was tran, maybe. Tran. Did you use yeah. tran? Yes. You did. Okay. Mm. So tran, tran in Sanskrit it is closer to trini, which means three, the number three. Yes. Three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Number. Okay. Okay, money. I think I I did not catch that word, but now that I think, yes, money is uh, false for us as well. Yeah, and ashta means uh, there was. Uh, right, uh, so basically a word, verb, right. So asta, as I said, asti is a verb to say that is, was, or, you know, in that. Uh, pasom means at me. So ashta, pasom, tron, mani. There was at me three beats. So I had three, three beats. beats. Yeah. You had three beats. Got it. Okay. I think yeah. if I, I did not catch the word money before, it would have given me a hint, a hint that it is uh, beans or pearls. Okay, great. No, that was that was really awesome. Thank you so much. Um, as I said, this was really great because this we're featuring a language here that many people don't even know about they've never heard of it um i enjoyed it a lot like putting this together and and the research and all the stuff was really really great i learned a lot thank you so much Badr, for having us even for me i got to know a lot about the language domari and the dome people through this which i otherwise would not have known so thanks for this opportunity again so i really enjoyed this this video so i think yeah, it's my first time to do something like this, but I really enjoyed that. Thank you for your channel, Bahadur. Yep, you're, my, my, you're doing very great. Thank you. Thank yes, you. It's definitely. my pleasure. <laughs> uh, thank you again. Uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you so I'll, much, I'll talk to you guys if I have any questions. Honestly. Anytime, okay. anytime. Of course. Thank you. Have a good day, both of you. Yeah, you too. Bye. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.